next the important is here mass wind mass and that is indicated by here rho and that is given as here mass of joule divided by volume of joule and that is given by m by v. mass is measured in kg volume is measured in meter cube so this is kg per meter cube it's a si unit is there so the density it depends upon what so it depends upon the pressure and temperature density depends on the pressure and temperature here that depends upon the temperature and pressure so with rising temperature the density decreases why the density decreases because uh, with rising temperature the intermolecular distance increases because of decreasing cohesive force so if there is a rise in temperature the cohesive force between the molecules decreases hence intermolecular distance intermolecular distance between the molecules decreases and it's a responsible for decreasing density similarly if there is a rise in pressure if the pressure increases the density must increase we can say that by ideal gas equation v is equal to mrt so p is equal to m by v rt so p is equal to rho rt so if there is a pressure rise there must be a density rise there must be a density rise but the density and temperature are here inversely proportional like density is p by t the so temperature increases the density decreases or else if the pressure increases the density must increase so we can get the idea from the ideal gas equation also the next important properties and the density of uh, some important liquid subject that is for water the density of water is given as here 1000 kg per meter cube and density of mercury is given as 13000 600 kg per meter and density of air is given as not so it's a o2 it is given as 1.25 kg per meter this is the density because in air the intermolecular distance is very very large that's why the density is very much but in water the intermolecular distance is comparatively small and in hg the intermolecular distance is very very small that's why the density of this mercury is 13600 so the highest density of the mercury is here 13600 so everywhere we'll use this mercury so remember the mercury density water density and the air density here okay so the next important property we have a specific The specific weight is indicated by omega, and that is given as weight of fluid divided by volume of fluid. So weight of fluid is given as m g, and the volume is v, and the m by v is rho rho into g. so the weight is measured in newton and the volume is measured in meter cube so the unit of the specific weight will be newton per meter and the formula to find out the specific weight is given as rho into g it's a newton per meter cube the rho is the density so here also we can say that to find out the specific weight of h2o or water the density of water we know that it's a thousand and the g value is 9.81 it's a 9810 is a specific weight. similarly to find out the specific weight of mercury it's a 13600 into 9.81 to multiply that you will get it here approximately near to 13000 so 
So if you know the density, you can calculate the here expected weight. And the expected weight depends upon the three parameters, and that are the temperature, pressure, and G. And G. Because the density depends upon pressure and temperature, and there is also G is there. So the specific weight that depends on pressure, temperature, and G. So from here also we can say that if you know the relation between pressure and density, if you know the relation between temperature and density, you can find out the relation between specific weight and the density. Similarly, we have uh, the last uh, uh, property that is the third property that is a specific gravity. It's a very, very important for gate point of view and that is indicated by S. The specific gravity of any fluid is given as the ratio of the den density of the fluid uh, like uh, for liquid case. A specific gravity is given as density of liquid divided by density of a standard liquid. And the a standard liquid is what? Standard liquid is here water. And the water density we know that it's a thousand. That is a S. So, like, uh, if you consider that, like, a specific gravity of oil is 0 0.8. So, you substitute here 0 0.8 and you can find out the density of oil also. So, density of oil, you can say that 0 0.8 into 1000 and it's a 800 kg per meter. So, with the help of a specific gravity, you can find out the density of any liquid. Or any. Similarly, for gas case, the specific gravity of the gas is given as the density of gas divided by density of air because the air is a standard, standard gas is there. So, if you want to find out the, like if it is given a specific gravity of CH4, methane is given something. 1.2. So, what will be the density of the methane? So, we can find out the density of the methane is 1.2 into density of air. And the density of air is given as 1. So, the density of air, you remember that always it's a 1 kg per meter cube. So, 1 is substitute that and it's a 1.2 kg per meter cube. So, that is the dens uh, density of CH4. So, here you remember that the, the a standard liquid is water and the standard gas is here here that one you remember that 